Good morning. Today is Friday the 13th, 2015. And this is my first time drawing live on the YouTubes. And I'm pretty uh, excited to try it out. I did try one other video and I was so tired and I just couldn't handle it. It didn't turn out the way I wanted to. That's what happens when you draw when you're tired. Your work suffers. You always get sleep before trying to spend an all nighter working on a project. Right now, I am currently working on a new Bugs Bunny TV series called Wabbit, and it should be out sometime later this year, hopefully, on Cartoon Network. Pretty excited. I'm having the time of my life working on this. I'm drawing props. And I'm basically a prop designer. His job is to design anything the characters touch on a production. So if Bugs Bunny is driving a monster truck or picking up a cup of coffee I'm designing those objects for the animators to use or to use as reference Man, I've got this new version of Photoshop, and so I don't have all my all my brushes set up. I'm, I'm slowly but surely recreating a bunch of butt brushes. Let's try this one out. I like to create brushes for objects that I don't 
necessarily want to draw over and over again. So for instance, I've got this chain brush I created. And it allows me to go thick to thin and just create cha chains till I go crazy. <laughs> not, that, not that I'm lazy, I just don't want to waste time drawing all these chains. Even created some crosshatch brushes too that I can adjust. Like this. Right, let's get back to my drawing here. <sighs> I've had a pencil brush that I've used for years and years and I don't have it anymore. All right. One more time, one more time. I'm gonna get real picky about my line and I hit, will hit control Z back and forth forever and ever. I don't need to quit being so picky sometimes. Irk. Anyway, I hope to do more of these live events. I want to try to do them uh, weekly. And I'm thinking of doing them on Wednesdays at about 6 o'clock Central Time. Which is, sorry, 8 o'clock Central Time, which is 6 o'clock on the West Coast and nine o'clock on the east coast that is about the best time because my kid goes to sleep right about that time is in bed so it'll allow me to 
hang out with everybody. And so if you fall if you're a subscriber or you're a new subscriber, we can arrange to have you jump on and hang out and draw and shoot the breeze with me some nights. Dinks in his machete. Oops. Got some blood. Do a little rendering. I need to go with the lighter, lighter gray. Oops. Let's be on another layer. Doesn't it? There we go. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Maybe I forgot a detail on this drawing. Valentine's Day, so I, my kid spent the morning filling out her Valentine's cards before school because we forgot to do it during the week. So dad was sent out to the local Walgreens to try to find any last remaining Valentine's cards that were decent enough. <laughs> and she asked me to make sure I didn't get any that were uh, too, for two uh, little kids. She wanted a little bit more grown-up ones, but we found peanuts and peanuts you know, Snoopy, that's that's appropriate for everybody. Like, who could not like the peanuts?
And if you don't like the peanuts and you're watching this, don't bother telling me. Because you can't convince me that Charlie Brown and Snoopy and the gang are not cool. Just couldn't do it. Couldn't convince me. I live in Texas and I get to work for Warner Brothers from home, which is not all that common that Warner Brothers does hire people contract that live in other states and cities and but most of the time they're in house. So I'm pretty fortunate that they uh they wanted me. And it only was because of the work I'd done on Epic Mickey games. Which is a good thing. Alright. That's um, a little bit lighter gray for his shirt. Did you notice Jason wears an ascot? <laughs> he and he and Fred from Scooby Doo are have uh, something in common. They like to wear ascots. And did people really did wear those? Did guys wear those back then? Kind of kooky. In the second layer, I meant copy. Look at my layers over here. I have the light layer, and then I made a copy of it and darkened it. And I'm going to take an airbrush tool and crank the opacity down to like four, real low. Race away the top layer. And 
real gently. Lighting here on his mask. To the bottom right. You guys are going to have to forgive the sound. I might have to get a microphone or something that's separate from my, my Surface Pro. Because it gives it kind of a hissing sound on the video. So I need to invest in a mic or a headset with a microphone. I don't know how many people out there play board games. But my, we've been really getting into board games a lot lately here at my house. And my wife and daughters have all gotten hooked on Ticket to Ride. It's a train building game where you try to complete destinations. You're trying to connect to destinations on the map. And it's a lot of fun. And it's pretty popular 
they um, so much so that there are about nine expansions that I can think of with maps on both sides of the playing boards. And it's a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. It's worth worth the purchase to uh, get together and hang out with friends and and play and play a game. <laughs> Or your family, and I even got my neighbors hooked up on playing it. They went out and ordered the European version or the European board map, like right after playing it. Here, I'm going to make some drop shadow, more extreme drop shadow. Take my eraser and gently move my shadow a gradient. Highlights. I'm going to brush away some of the edges and give it a gradient.
Oops. Add in a little color. Good morning. Right, let's see. Oh, another layer, soft light. Thank you. 
some warm light. Right here. Let's see. Let me get back to our brush. Down a little, knock the warmth down, boom. And another layer, add some cool light. Go ahead in the background and add some texture. Wow, I've never seen my computer chug like this with Photoshop. It must have to do with the the Windows uh, or the live streaming. It's affecting it. That's it for this morning. Um, please comment or write me and uh, let me know what you'd like to see in the future. And we'll try to do some hangouts on Wednesdays, like I was saying, and see how it goes from there. Thank you very much, and you guys have a good day. Happy Friday the 13th. Happy Valentine's Day.